you can see, this is the upper reaches of the Brisbane River, uh, Caralee. So this is where we'll be searching, just out in this area, just here. Apparently it's in two and a half metres of water. Uh, it's a couple, two vehicles are, and one vehicle's in four metres of water, and the other one we're not too sure about just yet. A little bit cool today. So we've got now, thanks to Jared, two lots of sonar thread. We've got our Helix 8 and we've now got our Garmin. Uh, it makes it really helpful to have two screens, whether I'm right, running live or just having side and down on one and live on the other. Trade to a 360 Garmin transducer. Oh, I can afford it. That'll give me another viewing platform then. We'll do is we'll get the boat in the water, we'll mark these cars that we know of with the magnets, buoys, and then we'll work out how we're going to dive them. Buoys. 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 Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. That's it. Too easy. Too easy right? All right, Captain, you jump in. I'll hold the uh, hold the ship for you. You fire it up. Oh, first start. Well, viewers, we have located a vehicle already. Anyway, viewers, we've got two cars there. And we got one out there. So we're going to get these two out first. Righto, stage one is done. We've got the first vehicle over there to our left for the boat ramp. That's the furthest one out. Then we've got these, at least two vehicles here. So the goal is, I'm going to go put my wetsuit on now, dive out to it, see if we can identify it, and then see how we're going to hook it up. All right, go get some gear on. Do it. Dan's going to be doing the diving. The Brisbane River is uh, is known for uh, a vast quantity of uh, bull sharks, and um, he's got the equipment to deal with that. He's got shark guard. So I was just speaking to a couple of the locals, and yep. they believe that the vehicle over there is actually a Toyota Land Cruiser that the as the driver was putting the boat in, it's taken off and gone into the water. Ooh. It's been there a few years. So. Will we worry about that one or not really? We've got to see which is which first because we yep. don't know if it's this one or yeah. this one. So my first goal is to dive on this one. Once we've worked this one out, then we'll go to the next one. 
Okay. What about bull sharks in Australia? Um, these rivers are really murky, and what happens is the bull sharks come up here to breed. So it's well known that there's a lot of bull sharks in this area. I'm following the line down, so I should be close to the bottom, so it shouldn't be a big issue. It's usually just when you're flapping around on top, that's a big issue. But I do have my shark shield, so that just has a big long cable on it that sends out electronic pulse. Um, so I'll wear this, and hopefully that'll keep any sharks out of the way. There's boats around too, but I don't like boats, so. Mm. Should be fine. So that just strapped onto your leg here? Yep. You can go on your arm or your leg. So, and then I just turn it on. Just touch the end of that for me. No thanks. <laughs> I wasn't, sure it's working. I wasn't born yesterday, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Braver man than me, mate. Silly, huh? Interesting. It's a Ford Fairlane, white uh, or silver. And it's got a boat ramp, on, boat trailer on the end of it. <laughs> so, so it's not two vehicles. It's not the Land Cruiser. It's a Ford Fairlane. So he's gone out, tried to put his boat in the water here, and she's gone in. So the the other one's probably the Land Cruiser as well. So there's uh, not there's no two cars there at all. Just a, a car with the trailer. You still want to pull it out? Yep. Okay, we'll do it. Might have a good. Fun. Okay, well it is a Ford uh, Fairlane that we're looking for, a four-door coupe. Uh, driver's window is down, uh, I've reached in, there's nothing in it. Uh, both plates are missing and there's a, a boat trailer on the back of it. So it looks like it's just a case of someone's reversed their car in, lost control and the car's sunk. So, so Dan, what are we going to do with it? We're going to pull it out, get out of the environment, we've got the equipment to do it, so I'll dump the diving gear, we'll get all our chains and our slings and get the winch out and pull it out. Right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. You right, mate? So 
Right, Brad, what the plan is, because I can't get directly onto the front of the vehicle to hook it to anything. All right, well, can we use the front wheels for an example? Where we, If that's the front wheels of that? No. Not really? Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, so what the plan is, I'm going to wrap these around the wheels, um, around the axles on the front, and then join it with a chain, mm -hmm. and then run the winch line out. Hoping that should be long enough. If not, then I'll just duck back and grab the um, other strap that we've got. No That's worries. The plan. Don't really need the lift bags for this one. So leave them in the truck. Well, g'day. We've got young Will here. How you going, mate? Good. Now, what we're doing today, Will, is we're actually found a couple of vehicles. Now, I've just dove down onto this vehicle here, and it's a little, it's a four-door Ford Falcon. So on the end of it, it's actually got a boat trailer. How cool is that? Yeah. So what I think's happened is someone's reversed it down, lost control, and their car's gone into the water. So there's no number plates on it, but what we're going to do now is we're going to take all these chains and the slings, connect them around the wheels, then I'm going to run the big winch off the front of my truck, and I'm going to pull it out of the water, get out of the water, keep the water cleaner than it was when we got here. Because we don't want cars in the water, because they don't live in there, do they? And if we've got a nice clean environment for our fish and our fish habitats, it makes it much better for your generation coming through, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, Will, thanks mate for watching and we'll get into the water. So what I'm going to do is take one sling down at a time and come back to the second one. So we'll come back to the edge of the water, you can pass me the next one and then we'll, third time down, we'll connect the chain up then run the winch wire out. Okay, awesome. All right, let's get into it. So we've got the tide starting to rip out now. Um, I don't know if you can see it out there. But uh, Dan's above that buoy out there, or buoy as you guys call them in the States. And it's, it's you can see the tide starting to rip out. So it won't be long before we're gonna get a bit of a current through there. And just gonna make things a little bit harder. But uh, yeah, we'll get it out. There's a lot of work involved in this. He's been out there four times already. It's hard work, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it is. <sighs> to be honest with you, you've got people, um, there's a lot of hard work that goes into this, what Dan's doing. I really mean a lot of hard work. Like he's been out there and back five or six times already. Now he's got to go up to the truck, get out of his wetsuit, drive the truck down here, get back into his dry suit, dry suit, sorry, put all his diving gear back on and carry or pull the winch rope from his truck out there. And then he's got to come back in and unfortunately we don't have communication, otherwise I'd do it, um, pull the truck up. So it does knock it out of you. It really does. So yeah, support him, support him big time. It's the first time I've had this winch out, so see how it goes. I don't think it's been wound on very well in the past. Makes it hard to pull out. You're so close. Didn't reach it. Pass me those two legs to try and I'll reckon I'll be able to do it. You're right. Oh my God, you're gonna be wet, man. All right, so Dan's all hooked up now. Um, so hopefully we can get this out. It should come free pretty easily.
Right, we've got the, got the vehicles coming out. Dan's put it in reverse. Low range four-wheel four drive. And, yep, there's the vehicle there. We did have something come undone. Right. We'll get back to it. Is that right? What? Like that. That was a good idea, putting a four-wheel drive in. Good, right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the the front of the car is just there. Yeah. Keep going. Right here. So Dan's going to get into the water. The cab of the vehicle is just here. The front of it's just right here. And it's starting to rain. Uh, we're both water people, so we're not going to worry about that. So Dan's going to go in there and hook it up. Yeah. Yeah, Ford. Uh, Ford or Subaru? Go forward a bit, Dan. No, he puts his puts his heart and soul into this, eh? Yeah, yeah. he absolutely loves it. I got a couple of the local lads here giving us a hand. We need a bit of extra help, so we got. So we've got the mighty patrol to give us a hand to get it out. Of so course, in this one. So we've got, what's your name? Blair. Blair? Levi. Levi. Harley. They've Harley. just come by and they're going to give us a hand. So good on you boys. Thank you very Thank much. You we'll well, get mate. this car out. See where we go. Or the Aboriginal or that Aboriginal show, but they'll get it started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're good shows, eh? Fair bit of mud. Yeah, window yeah. wiper, uh, window one don't work. Mm -hmm. Sadly. So what are we hooked around? We are hooked there? around that chassis there. Oh, okay. So that's a little bit that stronger. That should be right, yeah. Let's get that chain. Stuff down behind the 
Yeah, she's coming. The revs up it. Reverse into those posts, is he? You're right. No. Nah. I think we'll be getting that second one out today, mate, because half our gear's destroyed. No. Give it a go. You can airbag it. 